you're always going to protect the basketball. That's what, that goes without saying. As an offensive player, you always want to protect the basketball. And the best way that I was taught to protect the basketball in a triple threat situation is always put your body between the ball and the defense. Good defensive players, if you put the ball out here, have long enough arms, Scotty Pippen for one, to slap it, your momentum is going this way and the ball is going that way. Good way to correct that. Is when you jab, now you change. If you put the ball here, you got protection from your right leg. Your hand should be here protecting the basketball anyway. So now the only way the defense can get to that ball is to go through your arms, go through your legs. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be a foul. Defensive boards are much more prestigious than offensive boards because defense takes a lot of work. Defense is something that everybody is not capable of doing or don't have the desire to do. If you force yourself or challenge yourself to play solid defense and you do it very well and you re receive awards for that, I think you should be very appreciative of those rewards because anybody can shoot a basketball in the hole. Very few people can stop the offensive player from doing the things that he probably would want to do. Before you take your stance, look how the defense is playing you, and then decide which is your pivot foot, your right foot or your left foot, and then attack it. If you can't, you can still do the same moves. If you're, if you're caught with the left foot being your pivot, you can still jab here and go this way. But you see the thing that you're going to have to do with that is, when you do this, you expose the basketball in transition of trying to go this way. Good defensive players have good hands. So you have to protect the ball this way, swing it low, and have a good firm hold to change your direction. If he's going to grab the basketball or grab your arm, hopefully the referee's going to see it. If you're Alvin Robinson, who I played against, they probably won't see it. So if you have good firm hold on the basketball, you can swing it through low and strong enough to attack the defense. All right, the most difficult shot other than the free throw is a fadeaway. I get a lot of questions from kids and even grown-ups and adults about a fadeaway jump shot. Well, there's no correct fundamental way of shooting a fadeaway. I can give you some tips in terms of what to think about. In some of them, in some circumstances, it's, it's kind of against some of the fundamentals, but yet if you do it and you practice it enough, it can become a routine, and if you repeat it, it becomes a habit. Okay, in shooting a fadeaway, the one thing that you try to do is to create space between the defense. You try as much as possible to square your shoulders up so you're shooting towards your target. And a lot of the times you're not going to be able to square them completely up, but you're going to square them up enough to it you can make your jump, jump shot and make your adjustments to shoot the basketball. So, but you also got to be able to go both ways. That's the key component in terms of as an offensive player, as I mentioned earlier, you want to be able to use all aspects of the shot, not just one side, not just turning over your right shoulder, but also turning over your left. And that's another instance of trying to keep the defense off balance so they cannot limit your options. So, if I'm posting up on the left block, I got a good stance, got a good balance, I feel the defense either putting the forearm or feeling the pressure from the defense, I can pick and choose because of the way I feel the defense pressure to go the opposite way or go opposite of where the pressure is. Sometimes I can use as a, what I call the windshield wiper. And I'll tell you what the windshield wiper is. It's a fake to go one way and yet come back the other way. So there's no difference when the defense is trying to force you to go one way that you fake one way and then come back the other way, keeping the defense off balance. So if the defense is standing behind me with his forearm, his right forearm, he's trying to keep you from going to the middle. He wants you to turn that way. Well, that's when I give the old fake come back this way and in doing that as you can see in the fadeaway and I'm, you know I can give you a lot more height when I have a defensive player on me but I'm trying to show you the fundamentals of the fadeaway is when I'm turning I'm turning with the notion of catching my target but not exposing the basketball here because the defense now can get to the basketball so when I'm turning I'm turning high so when I'm turning and I'm squaring up to the target, I'm bringing the basketball at a higher portion or angle 
that the defense cannot strip at the basketball. Carl Malone, Charles Barkley, all those defensive players when they're playing the post are very good at when you bring the ball here, it brings a little man in play, it brings a quicker defensive player in play. If you bring it here, you eliminate the little people and it's hard for the defense to reach over your elbow and make a, king, a clean block. So, in the fadeaway, you're creating space here. As you see, my left foot is going to come back away from the defense, and you got to have strong enough wrist, and you have to practice this shot so you can make your adjustments shooting the basketball, moving away from the target, which is kind of opposite of what you're taught, which is one of the reasons it's not fundamentally the shot to shoot, but it's a great shot if you perfect it to create space from the defense, and yet a hard shot to play defense towards. So, fade away, using my left, pushing off my legs, falling back, shooting towards the basketball. Now, it wouldn't be of any interest or purpose if you can only do it to the right side, so you gotta be able to do it. Fake here, doing basically the same thing, protecting the basketball, pushing off, shooting towards your target. In my earlier years, I, I think uh, crossing over, going to the, uh, my crossover step and the jab step, triple threat situation, was one of my favorite moves. And then later in my years, my turn away fadeaway uh, was probably the move that defenders had a tough time stopping, and it gave me the, the opportunity to capitalize on the multiple defensive situations and, and uh, the double teaming that I had to deal with in the later portions of my years.